everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this shelf right above my head. Now I needed a shelf for this particular wall. This wall is in my bedroom. It is the closet and the bathroom on each side. The space is not a conventional size for a shelf. Now I could have gone 30 inches, 36 inches, or 24 inches, but I really didn't want to have to go too small. 30 inches would have fit if I put it on top of the trim as well. And I didn't want that. 24 inches is too small. So I decided that I would have to custom make it myself. It is 27 inches of space that I have. So I got a little help from my husband and I put this together. So let me show you what the supplies are going to be and let's get to crafting. To create our little wood shelf, we're going to be needing some wood. You could use some scrap wood that you may already have laying around in your home or that you can reuse from another item that you maybe take apart. I went ahead and I purchased this wood because I was shopping and I really love the look of it. I grabbed it from Hobby Lobby. Here is the label. Now I did get it at 40% off, so make sure you look for sales. If not, reuse something you've already have at home. And of course, we'll need to cut it to size. I also purchased these iron corners. I did get them also from Hobby Lobby. There is the label and I did get them on sale. They were half off and they are really pretty and I like the look. I could paint these if I want, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep that look. You could also choose to use wood ones if you don't find iron. You could also look in your home improvement stores for these type of items. You will also need some hooks to place on your little shelf so that you can hang your items. I have decided to go for an assortment. I loved all of these and I couldn't decide so I went ahead and I chose two of each of this particular style. This one here. I really love this one. I picked just one to put right in the center. As you can see, again, these are also from Hobby Lobby. This particular one, $3.99. It was half off. $2.99 half off as well, $6.99 half off as well. All right, you're also going to need an assortment of wood screws. Now, I have these in my husband's shop, and I went ahead and I pulled them out. I really like that, you know, they've already been used, they're worn, and uh, kind of uh, have a little bit of a rusted look to them. I really like them. I don't know how many I have. There's some more in, in the shop, but I pull these out. These are 5 8 inch uh, Philip flat screws. They're a flat head on the top, but they're Phillips. They have that little cross on the uh, tip there. You can see that. Um, I had to pick some screws that were would go through the not only the thickness of the metal, but also through the wood, but not go all the way through. Now a 5 8 will go perfectly on here. We'll go through here, but it almost seems like it might go through the wood completely. So I, have, I can feel the little tip just barely but maybe if I just don't screw it too tightly. I do have a, a package here that I bought, a half inch. They're silver colored, they don't look old, but I can always paint the little bits of the uh, screws. Once I have it on my wood, I can paint them to kind of sort of match, kind of this brownish color. I did also pick up some 5 8 just in case I don't have more of these and they work fine. Uh, the reason I went ahead and I grabbed the half inch is because these are their little hooks. They have a thinner metal to them. So maybe the 5 8 is a little too much. And then the uh, tip, you know, the sharp tip will go through the wood for sure. So maybe with a half inch, those would be best. All right, so just to let you know, you're gonna need an assortment. Keep that in mind. I also have these two longer ones. These are going to be for anchoring my shelf to the wall on the uh, two by fours that are already uh, marked on my wall with nails. Now those little nails aren't gonna be good enough. We're gonna be using actual screws for that. You're also going to be needing some tools. You're gonna to need something to drill and also a screwdriver. I'm going to be using this and it comes with a drill bit and it also has a Phillips head which goes with the screws that I'm going to be using. So make sure you get the proper tool for that. Alright, you'll also be needing a saw to cut your wood. I'm going to be using a table saw but you could use a circular saw, a jigsaw or even a hand saw to cut it up. That is your choice how you want to cut up your wood. Now this is the wall where I want to hang the shelf from. I had a mirror hanging here. This is a wall, a small space between my bathroom and closet door. Excuse the mess. 
But anyway, this is where I want to hang it. And you can see here that I had some little nails right in here. And those little nails were right on the studs. So I already know where the studs are on my wall so that I can hang my shelf. So I'm going to leave those little nails in there to help me mark where I'm going to be screwing my shelf to my wall. So you want to make sure that you, you find that first, where you're going to hang your little shelf from. And that way you have a good idea of how big your shelf should be. Now, the space between... The trimming here is 27 inches and I want my shelf to encompass that whole space. So I'm gonna go with 27 inches for the length of my shelf. All right, so it's time to measure my planks to the size that I need. Now I need 27 inches in length. Okay, so I'm measuring at one of the edges and marking my 27 inches. And then I'm gonna mark the other edge over here so that I make sure that when I connect these, they'll be straight. 27 inches and then I'll measure the other piece of wood and do the same thing. Okay, ready? So here I have my two pieces of wood that are now 27 inches, the length that I need them to be. I do have uh, the leftover pieces right here that I can use for another project. So I want to make sure and save those. Let's move those aside. So the first thing I want to do, because I want to make this shelf like this, this will be on the wall and this will be the actual shelf. Now I want to make sure that I have a pretty side, you know, a roughy side upward and to the front here. So this is my front of my shelf and this is the top of my shelf. All right. Now, if you wanted to paint yours, go right ahead and paint them first. Get them ready. So let's go ahead and start putting these uh, little metal uh, corners onto our little shelves here. And these fit just about right. So I want to make sure that I get them as close to the edge right here. I'm aligning it with a little loop here and then I'm getting it as flat as I can right here because this is going to lay right on here and we have to screw this onto the wood so we can't put it you know down in here it has to be right as close to the edge as possible here okay so that's where I'm going to go ahead and start screwing that side uh, this little piece here and then I'll do the one that goes on this side. Now I want to make sure they have like a little design. It looks like a cross to me and this looks to be the top of the cross because it is a shorter end compared to this side and these seem to be even. So I'm just making sure that this is the top. I've done the same over here. All right. So let's go ahead and get this on here. All right. So I'm going to use these uh, older looking uh, screws on my... Um, this iron piece here that's kind of a dark color. Well, it is a dark color. All right, let's go ahead and put the one on the outside first. Line up my, there we go, right there. Right there. Then the one on this side. Always making sure that this is lined up right up here. Let's go ahead and grab it down here first. I want to check something real quick. I don't feel it. I did crack my wood right here. So be careful when you're pushing that through. It did make a little crack. I think I went in too harsh when I was pushing that screw in, so be careful. All right, so I've got that first corner piece on there, so now I wanna do it on the other side. All right, so I've got both of my little iron corners on my wood, and I'm very happy with the way that it looks. I actually showed this to my husband because he really had no idea what I was making. And let me tell you, it is very satisfying to use a power tool, so if you haven't done that, you need to do that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've kind of 
more or less where I want these guys to be, these little hooks that I've got here. But before that, before I end up putting them on there, I do want to go and to the wall where this is going to all go. I'm going to be holding it um, upside down here as your view, by the way. Okay, so on the wall, which is 27 inches wide, the same as the shelf, there's two nails that we've placed on that wall. And I know that there's a two by four right where those little nails are. So I'm going to take this before I put the other part or any of this on it. And I'm going to mark on here where the nails fall, right about up here somewhere. I'm going to mark it so that I can drill some holes because that is where I'm going to screw this onto the wall. Okay. So if you're not going to do that, then you need to add your little hangers or whatever you're going to put in the back here for hanging them on the wall. So that's what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go mark so I can drill the little holes. All right. So I've gone ahead and I've marked right here with a pencil line where the, uh, the nails were or are still on the wall right now. Now, I'm going to keep in mind that this shelf is going to go right here, so the holes cannot be too close to the edge here because when I have this in here, I can't, you know, get in there because, you know, this is in the way. So, my husband told me that I have to make sure that I screw a little bit far down, which I could do right here, but the problem is, is I cracked my wood here, so I'm going to go down onto this part here where it's not cracked and let's measure so that I can tell you how much I'm going to do but it doesn't really matter because you'll be doing your own measurements and I'm going to go down about two inches so right here and then I'm going to do the same measurement over here I don't know if you even saw this was this even yeah it was in, in the viewer or the viewfinder right here so that's where I'm going to make the holes what I'm going to do also is I'm going to go ahead and get some wood glue and uh, push it in there. Also, what I found was really neat about this wood is that, see that? <laughs> the little knots pop out. It looks really cute. I don't mind it, uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, let me figure out how it went in there to begin with. And I think I'm just going to glue it back in there with some wood glue. All right. Okay, so... That hole is done, and so is the one on this side. So now we're going to add the piece of shelving that's going to go right here. Okay, so now I'm going to put the top right on to the metal right here. Now, I had said that I was going to use this pretty side that I consider the pretty side, which is the rough side, and then of course it has the smoother side, which I figured that would be the bottom uh, to do my shelf like this. But so high up that I'm actually not even going to see this nice rough side. So my husband and I discussed it and I told him, you know what, I'm going to put it so that the rough side is actually facing down so that when I'm looking up at my shelf, I'm actually looking at the pretty side and not this uh, smoother side. So this is where I want to put this. I want to line it so that the tip of these little metal pieces are close to the edge there. Now it's going to give me a little bit of a gap back here and that's okay. I'm not putting anything on top of here that I'm afraid will fall through there. I want to put these about right there. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around so I can line it up and have these right there. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and use some of these uh, newer screws, the 5 8 on here and uh, that's because I'm running out of the other ones and I need uh, eight more because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these newer ones and I can just use a little bit of paint to blend it in. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm almost finished screwing this on so I'll be back once this is done. I got one more here, here, and then the one on this inner corner to finish, but I need to turn this around where I can reach in to do that. 
All right, so here's my shelf. I think it looks really nice. What do you think, you guys? So I don't want to forget that this is the top shelf and this is the wall and I've got the little holes right there to remind me. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add all my hooks. So I'm going to just place them uh, in a decorative manner and I make sure that I don't cover that hole. I'm gonna put these as low as I can here because they're for hooking something on here and I want plenty of space. So these are gonna go kind of low and then I'll decide and then I'll measure the distance between here and there to get the same over here. This one I'll try and get it as centered as I can and I'll probably go kind of low on this. And then I'll put these somewhere in the middle. Now, I wanna keep in mind that I do have this little knot hole here so it can't go too low or I can't go in the middle actually, is what I meant to say. So, let's see. Yeah, I think I need to give some room here where I could, when I'm hanging things, let's say I'm hanging a coat, I have room to put my hand in there to hook it or you know, if I'm putting a purse or whatever, a belt. And here, there has to be some room also to put your hand through here to hang whatever. And then of course, when you unhook it, you know, you come, you, you come around. So I don't want these to be up too close because then, you know, my hand will be hitting here. And if, you know, if it has a collar or something thick up here, it'll have room for it. So I'm gonna go kind of low on these. So let me go ahead and mark the little holes with a pencil so that I will remember where I want these to be. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one, I'm gonna give it a little bit of wood underneath there. I'm gonna mark this one. Where I want that and I am going to measure it's actually right at the 24 centimeters so I'll just use that to mark and that was that first hole there so I'm going to line it with this and give it that little bit of a I don't know an eighth of an inch or so Mark that. And then the next one, let's see. What is the center right here? Okay, it's about 24 and a quarter. So I'm gonna go 12 and 1 eighth to mark the center, put that right there. So, about right here, I think, would be good. So you know what, let's go ahead and get that one in there. And I'm gonna use one of these celery ones because, you know, this is white, so. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint them anyway. And okay, let's see. This one is nice and thick. So yeah, let me go ahead and use this, um, what is this? A 5 8 inch screw. Okay, that's in there. These are kind of thin, the metal part here, so I'm gonna use the half inch for that. This one I think I am gonna use the 5 8 I do have one that's a little bit thicker. It's about half an inch, I believe. I, I might use that for these because these are pretty thick. Yeah, I think I'll use the bigger ones for that. Okay, so now this guy, let's try to get this on there because these little screws are so tiny. I'm just kind of pushing them in a little bit just so that the little tip gets into the wood and it kind of stays in place. And I should have gotten a longer drill bit to do this because this is getting in the way. So you know what, I might just go ahead and do that to finish them all off. Okay, so I'm gonna do that one, put this one here, and then these guys are gonna go right in here, and I am gonna get a longer screw for that. All right, so I'll be back once this is all done. All right, I've got all my hooks on my little shelf. And there it is. I think it looks really cute. I'm noticing that it's a little crooked, but I can just unscrew this a little bit, loosen it up, and straighten it. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Unscrew it and then just straighten this up a little bit. Switch. 
and there we go. That one's a little straighter. <laughs> all right, there we go. Now all I want need to do is put it onto my wall. I've got my two little anchor hooks right here. So I can go put it on there right now. Awesome. All right, everyone, so it is completed. As you can see, my husband went ahead and he put it on the wall for me. I wanted it nice and high so that uh, I could put some items up here that I don't necessarily use right away, but we can put things like our flashlight for, we know an emergency situation when we get up in the middle of the night. We can put our uh, flashlight up there. I also have these uh, lint brushes that I think would be great to put up here as well instead of them being on my table where I put on my makeup, what little makeup I put on. And it would be high enough to hang some robes or towel, my purse and things like that. I do have my little cap that I like to use when I go shopping. So I'm going to put that right on there. And of course, I've got a towel that I can hang on there for now. But I also have this little book craft that I made a few days ago. I'm going to put that right on top. Now, that's not what's going to be up there permanently. But I just wanted you to see how it would look with a few little items up on there. And forgive me that my camera does not go up any higher i'd have to push it way further back and i don't want to do that but look at that you guys isn't that lovely nice little shelf that i created myself and i think it was super easy you just need some uh, power tools and uh, i know that a lot of you do have those things available and even some scrap wood to paper of uh, well, not paper but of Scrap pieces of wood is what I wanted to say. So put this all together. I think it came out super cute. So I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. And I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up. And leave a kind comment below. And let me know what you think of my craft for this week. Well, it's my second craft this week actually. But let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. So hit that little red button down below. And then the little notification bell will appear right there as well. Next to your subscribed. Please go ahead and hit that and choose all so that you get notified of all the videos that I upload. And you want to do that for everyone that you are subscribed to so you don't miss any of our videos. I want to thank you very much for watching. If you want to go ahead and follow me on Facebook, it is Trisha's Creations. The link is in the description box below. So just click on that and I'll take you right to it. And as always, enjoy.